Hey everyone, it's Karen here from Art and Cove. A welcome to my bedroom floor. I'm really excited today because today I am sharing everything that I packed with me for my one week stay in Hawaii. I literally just came back from Hawaii. It was my first time going, so I was really, really excited. But I also had some questions in terms of like what kind of clothes to pack, what kind of weather to expect. So now that I've gone on the trip and came back, I have some pretty solid ideas of what to recommend for you guys if you are going. I did unpack my luggage and wash my laundry and repacked this bag so everything is ready to go for this video. It's a $30 for one checked in bag. So what I opted to do was do carry on only. So I have a carry on only luggage and you also get one personal side, personal bag. So I brought a backpack as well. Another thing I also brought is a Kelso passport wallet and I attached a short strap to it. So first off, I want to talk about my current outfit. This is what I wore to the airport. Um, I wore a sweater because I get really cold on airplanes. I also have a packable jacket with me. Now this was doubling as a jacket for when it's colder as well as my rain gear. Um, I also am wearing some basic black leggings. These happen to be the Lululemon Align Pant. This pouch itself comes with a wrist strap, but I opted to attach a short strap to it instead so that I could wear it around the waist just like this. So there's a little bit, let me get my hair out of the way. So there's a um, little ring on each side you could attach a strap to. So this is how I went to the airplane um, and I obviously had my backpack on, rolling my little luggage. This kind of seems like a lot of little things to carry uh, to the airport, but having this front, front um, fanny pack belt bag situation was really helpful in my opinion. I needed to access my um, clipper card, which is the little transit card and that is in the back pocket. If I wasn't wearing this as a belt bag, you can actually scan the whole wallet um, onto the like card reader thing, and the back pocket is non-RFID blocking just so that you can scan into things like that. It's also really nice to be able to access things like my passport here, my keys here, which is attached. Um, there's a little coin pouch here, and a front pocket here for my cards and you know, regular ID and everything clips closed and really easy to open and close here. Um, the inside of the pocket is RFID blocking, so if you are carrying a passport card, it is recommended to keep it in a RFID blocking sleeve or wallet, so this will work for that. The shoes I wore to the airport are actually these right here. They're a little bit dirty right now because obviously I just came back from the trip. These are ASICS running shoes. Um, I use them for running. We went running on the first day on the beach, which was super tiring, but very beautiful. <laughs> um, we went hiking in these, everything, a lot of walking in these. So these are great um, multi-purpose shoes. I definitely recommend bringing some sort of running shoes. Um, I didn't bring any sort of hardcore hiking boots, which some people may want to consider just because a lot of the hiking trails have, you know, big roots, rocks, you have to cross rivers, stuff like that. Okay, next let's go over uh, my luggage and then I'll go over the backpack last. This is pretty much as big as you can get away for carry-on luggage. There is one side here, just a little makeup palette. This is the Naked 2. I like traveling with a tin case just because it feels a little bit more secure. And some makeup brushes here that I need to wash now. First, let's go over these two bags. So actually, let's cut a little bit closer so you get a better look at my very dirty makeup bag. Anyways, in this one, I contain my non-liquid toiletries. So here's the overview. In the front, I have some cotton pads, Q-tips, contact solution, that kind of stuff. So here on the non-makeup items first. So my toiletries include a tweezer, a razor, a deodorant. I wear contacts, so I have a case as well as some spare contacts. Next, I have three reef safe sunblocks. So you really, really want to make sure you're getting reef safe 
sunscreen. The way you know if it's reef safe is that if you look at it, it should say zinc oxide or some sort of zinc based um, sunscreens. You don't want a chemical one. Those tend to have really long ingredient lists. That's how you know it's a chemical sunscreen. Those are really bad because if you are wearing the sunscreen and you go swimming in the ocean, that chemical is going to wash off into that ocean and we already know they are really bad for the reefs and the reefs are dying. It's not good for the environment. Obviously, if the reefs die, the fish and the other animals who live in it are suffering. So make sure you get some good reef safe sunscreen. This came in a pack. There was actually another tube of liquid sunscreen. We used, you know, between the six of us, we used about three tubes of liquid sunscreen and one full tin of this one. This is more of a paste, which will last a little bit longer in water, 80 minutes. Um, so that's good for swimming and there's also you know a little stick form that is nice to like rub on your face um, and a little bit of lip balm because you also want to protect your lips continuing on I have my electric toothbrush as well as a head I basically charge it before the trip and it lasts me in the entire week so I didn't bring a charger and some floss. Next, I have the makeup items. So here I have an eyelash curler. Um, this one is really good, it's my favorite. It's from Surat. Next, I have some BB cream for light coverage days. I also have this RMS um, concealer foundation in a pot. This one is good for days I want a little bit more coverage. I have some concealer as well as some primer from Becca. Next I have a, a blusher from Ela. So it's a cream blusher that you can also use on your lips, um, even on your eyelids if you want it. So it's a really good multi-purpose item. I have some lipstick from Etude House. This one's a really cute shade. I have some false eyelashes. These are the Ardell 110 and some eyelash glue to go with it. This one is a NARS Duo, so it's a really mini version. You could see I'm pretty much done with the bronzer here, but this thing has been through so much it's falling apart. I also have two spare hair ties over there. I have a couple different pencils here. Two of these are the same. They're the MAC Queen eyeliner pencils. One is in black and one is in brown. The brown is more of a shimmery, color I like to put on my eyelid and then the black I usually put into my waterline. This one is the MAC Queen liquid eyeliner so this one's a felt tip perfect for cat eyes. I have my favorite eyebrow pencil from Etude House. This is the drawing brow perfect I think and it twists up on one side and on the other side is a brush head and the color is in number two. Finally for mascara, I have a L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Next, let's go over my liquids. So I like to keep it in a clear pouch for TSA. And first is a little mini bottle of makeup remover. I just put other makeup remover into this bottle and reuse it a lot. Um, here is some space serum as well as toner, cleanser, and some acne medication. Um, in this pot, I've actually repurposed it to contain some face moisturizer, um, just so I don't have to bring an entire tub. Here I have some toothpaste, uh, as well as some contact solution. It's actually empty, but you get the idea. Eye drops, as well as some shaving cream. And I also put some bug spray in here. I keep in a separate Ziploc just so that if something does happen, it's not all over my stuff. Let's move on because, okay, my foot is falling asleep. So moving on to the packing cubes, I ended up bringing three with me. So there's one long one on the bottom and then the two that fit on top of it perfectly. So I kind of organized these by category. Ish. You'll see what I mean by that. This first one is kind of like bottoms and beach stuff. First of all, you can see I have a big floppy hat that is marketed as foldable to protect your skin um, from sunburning your face off. And I like this hat, it's cute. 
I also brought these two waterproof bags. This one's for your phone and this one is just like if you wanted to carry a little bit more. I didn't actually end up wearing them into the water except for a brief moment. It did keep everything dry but I don't know, I just didn't want to go into the water with them. Um, I have this little handle here which is for a GoPro. Um, it has a little lanyard to go around your wrist so that you can attach your GoPro here and carry it around when you're swimming. I used it a couple times, it, it worked great. A microfiber towel, I knew I wanted a super thin packable beach towel. A, I was doing yoga every day in January, including during this trip, so I wasn't going to bring a full yoga mat, but I did want to bring like a towel that I could lay down on the floor or at the beach and do yoga. It's not quite the same as doing yoga on a yoga mat. Um, you just don't get the same amount of friction when you're like, you know, doing your downward dogs, but it worked pretty well and it was a beach towel and it was, you know, it worked. So next are the bottoms. Obviously I had the leggings that I wore onto the plane, but I also brought um, a short jean skirt, a pair of jean shorts, a pair of uh, running shorts, and I also brought a longer black maxi skirt. So this next cube here I'm going to call my miscellaneous um, items. In here I have a bunch of medications. On the top is a Dramamine, Dramamine? The motion sickness pill. That was super helpful when we went snorkeling because we went onto a boat and I wasn't sure if I would get motion sickness. Surprise, I did. Um, not so much during the boat ride, but it was right after snorkeling for the first round and then coming up onto the boat that was docked in the water. I was just like really feeling it right after I came up out of the water. I think it was the mixture of like swimming and getting pushed around by the waves and getting really cold. Um, so yeah, I ended up taking a dose of this and that helped a lot. I felt totally fine after that. I went snorkeling the second round and it was all good. There was some other people on the boat who were just like not having a great time. Even for something like um, the road to Hana, it's a really windy drive. So something like that, you might want to pack a motion sickness pill just in case too. Other pills I have in here, I have Tums, ibuprofen, some Benadryl for allergies, um, you know, basic first aid kit. I also have an actual first aid kit which has band-aids, I have a little um, lens cleaning kit for my camera. I have a little baggie for earrings, but I brought little mini hoops, um, medium hoops, as well as these little dangly. Next are swimsuits and undergarments and socks. So in terms of strategy for swimsuits, I brought four tops and two bottoms. That might be excessive, depending on what you're doing. I knew we were spending a lot of time going to the beach um, and I wanted to make sure I had at least two so that I could alternate if they needed some time in between days to dry out. In terms of what kind of bikinis, it's like whatever you're comfortable with. If you like one pieces, bring one pieces. Um, the only thing I will say is that I definitely recommend something like these. This is a Sea Folly Active Wear line bikini. What I like about this one is that it has the clasps on the back and there's actually two clasps on the back. It's super thick strap here, really tight and secure so that when you're swimming, surfing, snorkeling, doing any sort of water activities, boogie boarding, um, this is going to stay on nice and secure even if you're jumping into the water. But obviously you could bring one pieces and that's more secure as well. Um, you can also bring a rash guard which is highly recommended for snorkeling. In terms of undergarment, I brought one bra as well as these, um, two pairs of these actually. These are called Nippy's Skin and basically it's like a little sticker um, that you place on top of your nipples. If you're wearing a top that might show a bra, this is a really good option. Obviously you could take it out of the box and it'll take up less space that way. 
Um, what else is in here? I also bought five pairs of socks and five pairs of underwear. I rolled them up so that they're nice and neat. On the side of the luggage, I don't know if you can see here. So what I did here was pack my shoes. That was not my you know, airplane shoes. I recommend wearing your largest pair of shoes and then packing the smaller ones just to save space. I have some basic sandals or flip-flops. These were super, super cheap. I bought them when I was there. I just wanted really cheap flip-flops that I could wear on the beach, shower in them, not worry about them getting wet and sandy and, you know, basically destroyed. The threads are all coming off, but it's fine. Next, I have a pair of sandals. I wanted a pair that was um, going to be okay to wear, you know, walking around town or walking to dinner. Next, I brought a pair of sandals with a little bit of a heel. So, um, oh, the little stickers. They also have like these little gel inserts that are falling off, but that makes them a little bit more comfortable as well. These, in terms of sandals, aren't super uncomfortable um, just because they have a fairly wide base and these um, straps are pretty thick to like keep it all together. Um, but I wanted an option to wear to nicer dinners. And this packing cube is tops and dresses. Um, I basically brought a bunch of different options uh, just because I knew we were going to some nicer dinners um, that I wanted, you know, nice clothes to wear to. First is this dress that I wore to our first dinner. It's just a very comfortable, light fabric. It packs pretty well, doesn't wrinkle too badly. Next is a couple dresses that I actually got from Rent the Runway. I like using Rent the Runway a lot. We use it basically year round, but especially for trips, it's helpful. This is a dress from Caroline Consta. I wore this to the Annabelle and Warren show, uh, magic show, which was really fun. Then I have another dress, which is um, from Nicholas. This one I wore to the luau that we attended, which is like, this is like such a perfect print for the luau. The only thing is that I wish um, I brought a dress that was a little bit more um, long bottomed. <laughs> um, as you can see, there is a bottom layer here that covers, you know, the important bits, but here is pretty much sheer. And for the luau, we opted for traditional seating, which is on the ground. So um, sitting on the ground, obviously, you want like a longer skirt or shorts or pants instead of, you know, a short skirt. So that was a little bit inconvenient, but I really liked the dress, so I wore it anyways. Was very careful sitting up and down. In terms of what I look for when choosing dresses, I wanted ones with fairly light fabric that was good for hot weather as well as um, extremely easy to roll up and pack. They also tended to be um, okay if it was a little bit wrinkled, like this one has a lot of texture and it's pleated a lot, so even if it gets a little bit wrinkled, it's not too noticeable. Another hack is if you have something that is wrinkled, just stick it into your bathroom, hang it up, and then turn on the shower or like when you're showering hang it up and then the steam from the shower will help get some wrinkles out. So I brought a couple of these like basic tank top kind of clothing. There's a white one, there's a black one that's a little bit longer. I also have another workout top. We went running, we were hiking, we were doing yoga, so fairly active. Then I have some like dressier tops that I wore from Express I believe button-up sleeveless shirt. This one is from Uniqlo. This is a little tie top shirt that I wore over a bikini. I have two sort of like dressier type of tank tops. And finally, I have a little um, beach cover-up. So those are all the things in my luggage. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about this backpack. A big backpack for me was kind of necessary because um, I do, you know, have to run Arden Cove even when I'm on vacation. So there's basically three categories that I had to bring with me, which may not pertain to you. So obviously, pack what you need and forget about the rest. I have to bring my laptop and then I have to bring camera equipment. I brought a total of 
four cameras as well as my phone so five cameras which might be excessive depending on who you are and I also brought one two three four Arden Cove bags so how in the world did I bring so many bags with me I'm going to show you right now so first of all the backpack has a back compartment my laptop is not in here right now because I am using it right there and I would also put my laptop charger and my phone charger uh, all the chargers in here um, I like to keep all of my electronics and cameras and uh, stuff like that close to home so that's why I keep it in the backpack especially during TSA when you need to take out your laptop this makes it really easy to you know pull it out of here. I also have my Kindle in here. In here, I have a, first of all, a tote bag. So what is in here? This is normally where I put all of the camera equipment. There's a big DSLR that I'm currently recording on, so obviously it's not in here currently, but it would have been. There's enough room for it. So I also have a little pouch here which contains an Instax camera. One of my things I wanted to do was take a bunch of Instax photos on this trip just because I already have this. I bought it, I wanna use it, and it's so cute. Here I have a little accessories case for electronics. I have some extra SD cards in here. I have a mini charging cable as well as another microfiber. Here would be an extra room for an external battery or a um, external memory thing. <laughs> and I also have a charging port for my Nikon, which is my DSLR, and a spare battery that I just keep in here so I know where to find it. I put it all in a tote bag just because it's all contained, but also this tote bag is really nice if we are going to go grocery shopping. It's just nice to have an extra bag. Next up is this one. So one of the things I knew I had to be able to pack was our two new bags. So I'm really excited to announce our new brown color for the Carmel backpack. And you notice I pack it without the straps. And that is because in here, I pack the straps. <laughs> uh, but I also pack another bag. Ugh. So these are the two new colors that we're launching later this month. I've been using it, testing it out, taking photos of them in Hawaii. What a perfect photo location. They're really, really cool. I love, I'm so obsessed with them. In here, I packed all the straps. I also have a couple packs of Instax films. I ended up using two packs on this trip. So if you are considering bringing your Instax camera, maybe bring two or three depending on how many photos you want to take. I have a Osmo camera because I am obsessive about vlogging and taking video. Probably not necessary for most people. I also have a GoPro. This is a Hero 3, so a pretty old one, but GoPros are nice for Hawaii because it is waterproof. You could bring it with you to the ocean, going snorkeling, surfing, whatever you do. Um, I used it quite a bit when we went snorkeling, so hopefully there's some good footage in here. I'll show you guys in my vlogs. Stay tuned. I'm gonna make them, I swear. <laughs> By the way, my favorite way to store things like Instax photos, postcards, is to put them into the front pocket of the full crossbody or the Carmel. In this zipper pocket, I have a little bit of hydrocortisone cream. I have a bunch of earplugs in here as well. I probably should put them in separate bags, but somehow they ended up together. I have some sunglasses that used to be in a little bag that I threw over there. And then in this front pocket, I keep all of my airplane things. So I like to keep anything that I might reach for on a plane in this pocket, just because it is accessible. So I have some earbuds for my phone in case I wanted to watch a movie, listen to an audiobook, listen to music. I have a eye mask for sleeping. I have some Purell. I am a contact wearer, so just in case I brought some uh, contact solution as well as a case. I also have my glasses, um, which are 
on my bedside table right now but originally would be in here um, I have a pen because sometimes you need to fill out some forms um, I have some eye drops I have a portable battery to charge my phone and I also have a little travel size um, container of serum like for your face sometimes my skin is dry and I just want to put some serum on it I think I also had a little a mini tube of sunscreen that was in here but apparently I took it out already but that would also go in here because sometimes especially if you're on sitting on a window seat the sun can be quite strong so that's pretty much everything that I brought on this trip there's a lot of different options here customize it to what you need and what you would like to bring and what kind of stuff you want to do on your trip I hope you guys found this useful if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're going to Hawaii I hope you have a fantastic time and if you're going to Maui I hope you will subscribe and check out some of my other videos that are coming out soon I'm going to be talking more in depth about um, our Maui trip, how we planned it, what kind of activities we did. I think that's about it. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!